One of the final steps in converting EFB data over to some of the other design programs is to take the output LAND XML and format it for some of the other systems. One of the applications provided with EFB is the LAND XML to KC Geopack conversion tool. As you can see, you can open and input LAND XML that comes out of EFB. You do this by selecting the button and you're provided the opportunity to navigate to the XML you wish to convert. The XML needs to be formatted in the 1.2 schema format. Here I'll go ahead and pick the 2204991 XML file, open that up, and you see the application goes ahead and populates a default name for a KC SRV file, a KC KCP file, a input file which is formatted for Geopack. And the conversion process when I select process convert will output these files automatically given the same file name just changing the extension. Another thing you can do with the application is you can sort the data during output by using this order by button. If you select the order by button you're going to get a grouped output XML file from the application in addition to these output files that we see here. And we, we can output the data by either the feature code, the name, the role in the XML file, whether it's computed, control, so forth, or the zone number. This might be useful for trying to sort the data in a particular order so it loads into the design applications in that order that's selected either by feature code, name, role, or zone. It might also be useful for looking for problems in the data if you suspect that there's problems. When outputting data to the KC SRV file, because the KC system has a default Z value, if a Z value isn't provided in the original XYZ data in the XML, we can apply a default Z by selecting the default Z. And the default elevation value that's going to be used for all 2D points is automatically set to negative 99,999. However, you can change that value to any value that you wish. So when we have all the input loaded up, we press the process convert button. The application goes under the first tab and shows us the original input XML in the viewer. We could then click the next tab and see the converted data to KC output. The KCP file is called a KC project input. This particular file is useful because it more represents the data in KC than does the SRV file. So this might be a more useful output file for trying to load the data into KC than even the SRV. And it also completes the chain data a little better. A little more human readable as well. So we look down here at the Geopack input file, we see the store point commands for the Geopack. The run name is the same name as the XML file that we see here, and it receives the data in a very similar way to the Casey. Down at the bottom of that, we're going to see the store survey chain commands that store the survey chains for Geopack. Lastly, because we asked for the XML to be grouped, we are also going to get an XML file that is ordered by either a feature code name, role, zone, and so forth. And that grouped XML file that we see the output right here, we're going to see the XML file here, and the data is going to be ordered as we select it during our grouping. If we look in the conversion log, if there are any errors in the output, we're going to see it in the conversion log here, and the conversion log is going to describe to us what the errors were during the conversion. In this particular case, I have chains that were calling for points that are not defined. So it is telling me that because this chain AP12 did not contain these points LL105, LL106, or the points were not in the point portion of the data, the chain cannot be output. So here's a, a situation where I might have to go back to the original XML or even back to the original EFB and find out why this chain AP12 was containing points that did not appear in the XML data. This could be a source of error when converting the data over either to Civil 3D, KC, or even into Geopack if this were allowed to pass. And the application does check to make sure that any points referenced by a chain uh, are actually present. And that's the process of, of converting the data to an SRV file or KCP file for KC, an input file for Geopack, or potentially a more refined XML that is grouped a little bit for input into Civil 3D.